from the, be again. from the beginning. It's a good song, but from the beginning. Yeah. All right, so <laughs> recording on both of those fries. Okay, gone to China. All the way through, no stopping, no matter what. I'm your host, Marshall Ramsey. I've had a chance to watch the documentary a couple of times, and it's absolutely beautiful. One of the things I enjoyed about it was the music, and then I saw the credits at the end, and I saw who did actually write and compose the music. It's a it's a good dad moment. So I gave him some of the artwork to look at. I told him about Horn Island. He, he recruited his friends to play his compositions and hit all of the engineering and the mixing. Most people say their favorite part about the film is the music. I'm going to tell you, Brian, his son, 20 years old, when you hear the score of this documentary, you're going to be amazed. Sydney, too. Your, your daughter, Sydney, also helped out a little bit, too, didn't she? She, she did. Um, Sydney is a sophomore at, at, at Jackson Academy, and she has an artistic eye. Uh, she's a great artist herself. I gave her a camera and said, you know, here, here's a stack of... Of, of, of prints that I want you to do, and she did a wonderful job. Uh, so we just had a lot of good father-daughter adventures out there filming some of that aerial footage on Horn Island, which I think really worked well, too. When my dad presented me with the offer to score the life of Walter Anderson, it felt like destiny. Anderson's art has been an ever-present accompaniment to my own life as I've visited the museum many times as a child, and I've often flipped through the massive books compiling his works throughout the years. Producing a film soundtrack is not an easy task, but I was fortunate to have talented, hard-working friends from both Jackson Academy and Mississippi College collaborating with me throughout the whole process. Let's just start at the beginning again. Exactly. If we mess up, we'll, we'll just we'll start splicing stuff. Music provides a, a very good creative outlet. It's it's a great creative tool for you know communication and to e express your emotions, and that's why it works so well with uh, film scoring and even by itself. Um, you know that's why people like sad songs so much. I was super excited. I I never done anything like this. It was just super cool to me. Yeah, it felt really almost like special to be a part of something that was just a lot bigger. And like with the whole process, seeing everything come together step by step. From the start, Dad and I both wanted a small and expressive ensemble. And our main trio of cello, flute, and piano fit the bill perfectly. We were all students at Jackson Academy. We had all been friends with Bryant. We were all in band together. And so he had us come and help him with the project. Uh, as far as the, the, the recording went, um, it took place like over one day in August of 2019. And it was a, um, it, it felt very smooth to me. I was 16 years old at the time. And um, it was kind of my first, you know, hey, record this for me gig. It was it was it was very special in that regard, and it felt pretty smooth. To see Brian take all of that and just make wonderful music that we could then feed off of to you know contribute to that, to have that option, just blew my mind, and I was and still am eternally grateful. Yeah, it's it's really special to be a part of something bigger. Especially getting to see other people's reactions, it kind of like warmed my heart a little. Combined with the beautiful percussion work from some of my MC friends, we ended up with a score that, in my opinion, does a pretty solid job of telling Walter's story in a unique way. It has the, the, the power to bring people together, and it's, it's a beautiful thing. When you watch this documentary, the, the music is spot on. It is beautiful, uh, the, and to think it came from a young man, you know, it is it is amazing, it is beautiful. Yeah, no question, it's it's extraordinarily well done. I could have easily been convinced you use composers from New York or, or the West Coast, That's who right. knew? This project was loads of fun, and I'm so grateful for the experience I had on Horn Island and the things I learned while setting up shots in the studio. I think it's nice that we all met at JA and making it into a documentary soundtrack. It was just wonderful and again, I'm grateful.
This was an incredible opportunity for me to pay tribute to Walter's legacy and to the influence that his creative output has had on my family and countless others. <laughs> this truly is the magic hour. Which, <laughs> is, it, is it through or is it through now? It just ended.